Hello? Hey, how come I'm the only one who's supposed to say Cassidyne residence? You. Where are you? Are you all right? I'm sorry. I was afraid you'd be worried. Well, I was about to call out the hounds. And don't tell me you slept at the library, because I won't believe you. Well, I might as well have. I came back here so soon. Without even leaving a note? You never do that. I, I, tr I tried to call earlier, but there's been somebody on the payphone all morning, and there's a, there's a line behind me now, too. Well, they can just hold their horses, because I'm not buying this explanation for one minute. There's something wrong, isn't there? No, I'm fine, really. When will you be home to look me in the eye and say that? Soon. I'll be home soon, okay? You better be. I'll be here. What's so funny? You. You don't get the hang of us, do you? I hope you never do. Would you believe a teenager who tells you he was at the library long after you went to bed and then went back before you woke up? Of course not. But when that happens and you're a Cassidyne, you never, ever challenge the other person. You assume they're lying for a good reason. Probably not as good as your reason for lying to them. Oh. Well, oh. I'm glad someone <laughs> finally explained it. You know something? Nicholas probably likes it a lot better your way. He's a very responsible, serious guy. I don't think he's out getting drunk, do you? Oh, look who's back. Ah, a welcoming committee. What more could I ask? Play any dragons, conquer any small nations. Barbara. How did it go? With the research foundation, I mean. It's something I'm working on for my dad. Will it make anything blow up or take over a government agency? Dad. Thank you. Hi, Ruby. Hi. Good. Okay. What? Listen. It was cool. Stefan bit down hard on the hook. Went exactly as planned, man. He, he freaked out. He pulled a gun on me, and the whole, no. the whole bit. It was. It was great. So we let him steal the inedible egg, right? Now, what I need to know is when he opens it up and he finds the microchip mm -hmm. with the uh, b bi binary codes, binary codes, is he going to be able to tell that it's cloned? Uh, I'm, I'm almost ninety-five percent sure it's fine. Ninety-five percent sure. Good odds. Mm -hmm. Have you figured out yet what he's planning to do with it? I'm just going to tell you about what me and Lester have been doing, okay? Yeah. We... Okay, but uh, you know Lester's not his real name, of course. Uh, look, pal, the WSB is very particular about who their agents talk to, so you've got to make sure you keep the security access codes mega top secret, you know? We're talking in code, Dad. Even if they're monitoring us. Yeah. I'm Elik. Elik? I'm a WSB mole in Sweden. All right. Okay, anyway, look, All right. we're creating this virtual land. Well, you know what that is. You know what that is? No, I don't. Is it a network of computers? Yeah, okay. But see, we figure if we have a model, then we can uh, safely figure out what Cassidyne's virus, I mean, it's, you know, for lack of a better word, is programmed to do. I mean, it's, it's tricky. It, it's, it's real tricky stuff. I mean, we haven't even gotten through the firewall. Uh, speaking of walls, aren't you supposed to be in a certain hell of a classroom right now? Oh, no. I'm, I'm on Swiss time. Subtract six hours. Nah, oh, man, I, I've got the first two classes off. 
You do. You are still enrolled in everything, right? Yeah. Pretty much. I don't want to know anymore. Okay. Okay. You know, there was one thing that happened over there that I hadn't anticipated. It's kind of bothering me. Nicholas showed up. In Switzerland? It's... Yeah. With Stefan? I don't think Stefan even knew he was there. He was on his way up to the chateau where uh, your mother is staying. But he... Somehow he knew there was going to be trouble. Now, are you sure Nicholas wasn't in on it? No, I'm not sure he could have been. But he claimed that he was just worried about uh, mm. Lulu and your grandmother. Anyway, it was bizarre. I'm walking along this mountain cliff. He almost got killed because he fell off the side of the mountain. And uh, I saved him. You what? Yeah, well, he was hanging off the side of a cliff. I mean, I could kill the kid, but I can't let him die like that. So I pulled him up. Am I missing something? What? What's different, man? What? What's going on here? I don't know. But maybe one day I can use it against them. That could come in handy. Look, I'm just going to show you one thing real quick here. Yeah, yeah, just real quick. Yeah. Stefan, I never expected you to inform me of your every move and every thought. We have never had, nor have I ever wanted, that kind of relationship. But here are the bare minimum requirements, since apparently they need spelling out. I will not be made a fool of, and I will not be lied to. And when I ask you a direct question, I expect the answer to be true. Barbara, listen. And don't tell me you're sorry, and don't tell me you won't do it again, because I know you will. All right. I'm, uh... I'm, I'm slow. I'm trying to learn. But sometimes faith is, is just out of my reach. Barbara, being a Cassidyne means having a kind of pride. It's almost like shame. It means assuming that to know me, to know what I want, to know what I value, is to hate me. Now, oftentimes, that holds true, as you yourself have seen. But it's the reason why I never believed love and marriage were possible for me. And it's why, when in doubt, I conceal. Why? Because you think I disapprove? No. So what? So what if I do? I'm not afraid of your disapproval, Barbara, only of losing you. I, I want to be worthy of your patience and your trust. I am so determined not to hurt or disappoint you that that's exactly what I do. I missed you. And I, uh, I thought of you constantly. And yes, when I knew that Luke was there and that he would tell you what I had done. It put a cold terror in me. The thought of never being able to hold you again, to touch you like this. To make love to you.
always brings us back together, doesn't it? Third period coincide with the lunch hour? No. I really just lost track of time. Well, you better get a note from your father. I, I know his signature. Yeah, he oh. does it better than me. Hey. What's wrong with that? Oh. Uh, what's your next one, Dad? Well, next I do what I can to win over your Aunt Bobby. I wonder what Stefan told her about his Swiss vacation. <laughs> Yeah, he's probably so happy about getting that damn egg back. Yeah. <laughs> and he thinks he's the only one that knows what's inside it. <laughs> Are we alone? Miss Barbara went to the hospital. She mentioned something about Nicholas working on a project for one of his tutors. I gather he's been scarce. How did you get that? I'm glad you're here, Nicholas. I've been looking for you. That egg belonged to me before I gave it to Lulu, so why do you have it? And since, since when does it open? It was modified so that a microchip could be placed inside for safekeeping. Uh, nice of you to tell me. Nicholas, there are reasons for that. As always. Before you take your uncle to task, you should know that the information contained on that chip is critical to the future of our family. Why is there a map inside that tells where all the bodies are buried? You didn't answer my question. How did you get this? Alexis, would you excuse us, please? No problem. I'll be upstairs if you need me. <laughs> you went to Switzerland, didn't you? Yes, I did. No one was hurt, except for Luke Spencer. But he tried to get in my way. I had no choice. I apologize for not telling you before. Can you forgive me? Come give me a hug and let's don't, put this don't. behind us. I have never been more angry with you than I am right now. Unfortunately, we have a system for channeling that anger. It won't work. I think it will. Don't say I didn't warn you. What's the matter? Am I annoying you? I did not teach you the practice of Tai Chi to use for this purpose. I guess the cat's out of the bag now, isn't it? Come on. Come on, come on do it. Are you afraid to show me what kind of man you really are? Forgive me, Nicholas. I got carried away. You wanted to hit me. No. You're the last person in the world I would ever want to hurt. Oh, really? I'm glad to see you're so concerned for me. Nicholas, please. Tell me, what is troubling you? Nothing. Nicholas, I have been trying to make an effort at home. I was hoping you might have noticed. Oh, yeah. I've noticed. All right. Well, if nothing else, we have just demonstrated what a powerful tool the mind can be. Now, let's harness it. Whatever your problem is, let it go. Find the peace and balance within. 
I'm not gonna find that here. Where are you going? Find my piece. Wait! Nicholas! Nicholas! You walking away this way never solves anything! Nicholas! What did Lulu look like when she was born? Oh, my gosh. Let me see. Uh, bright red face, pointy head, blotchy skin. Totally gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> and Nicholas? Nicholas. Nicholas was the most alert baby. As soon as he arrived, he started looking around, taking everything in, trying to understand what was going on. Mm -hmm. Hasn't changed much, has he? No. I wish he'd stayed. Just for dinner. Well, he came a very long way just to be sure we were all right. Maybe that's enough? I guess it has to be. Oh, sweetheart. Things change. Who would have thought that you and I would be sitting here together right now? Maybe someday you'll be able to have your whole family around you, including Nicholas. Not as long as the Spencers and the Cassadines are at war. That's what has to change for my eldest son to have a place in this family. I honestly don't see how it ever can. Nicholas, I hope you realize that no matter how things appear on the surface, I always have your best interests at heart. I guess I just don't know that. I'm not sure what I know anymore.